freezing. Have you ever been in a in a Turkish prison? That was not a good intro. <laughs> no. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Geek Public Radio on geekpublicradio.com, and we here are recording live on location. Yes, we are at the wonderful. Um, go ahead, Hoosier Girls Hoosier Adult Girls. Entertainment Establishment. <laughs> also known uh, as a gentleman's club for those who just want to figure out whether or not we're talking about boobs <laughs> or full nudes. Boobies. And you know they are wonderful enough about giving us a little corner of the. The bar to well, because uh, we're VIPs. <laughs> they really give it to us. We just kind of took it because <laughs> we know we're VIP. So, <laughs> and then Stephanie was like, "I don't give a crap." <laughs> <laughs> but they've been awesome about letting us sit here and and talk nerdy stuff, yes, and, and whatnot. So uh, while well, we look at boobies, All right. yeah. yeah, while we look at boobs, like this is actually probably the best seat in the house. Mm-hmm. Like legitimately, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited. The, 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 the uh, manager is currently yelling at uh, other people. I think it's her husband. <laughs> I'm not 100 percent sure. Well, so, that, so that's are we normal. Doing, are we doing this because I, I said I wouldn't do the broadcast naked? <laughs> yes, we had to make a compromise. Mm. So currently, we are enjoying our crisp, cool uh, beer and water. And uh, yeah, and then uh, Jassel over there is, is drinking some water. <laughs> mm, this, water. Really, you really, that name really sounds the way you pronounce it. Sounds like you're calling her an asshole. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's Giselle for anybody who really wants to know. We got we got sweet Giselle with us on the mic today. Uh, Topher Chambers, uh, legendary director of such films as Flicker um, and The Death Chair, which uh, has I, nothing to do with a chair. No, it has absolutely nothing to do with a chair. <laughs> it, does, it's, it has a lot to do with death, but absolutely nothing to do with a chair. There's a lot uh, of death. There is one no chair. chair. There's one chair in the film, um, and, and somebody occupied. dies on it. it. Somebody does die on it. So it's, yes. that's actually pretty awesome. Um, well, isn't I, I that thought what the movie's was, all about? That's yeah, what I thought it was, it was about. Yeah. It was yeah, supposed to be a, 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 <laughs> in a few more things, but we didn't have time. <laughs> it was supposed to be an anthology, wasn't it? Anthology of horror? Yeah, it's, it's, in, it's in several of... Uh, it's actually a part with uh, Flickr and supposed to be some other stuff. You know, right now on Amazon as like five, four out of five stars and, and we got tons of different people that, that like it. The only co- negative comment that we've had with Flickr is... Uh, they don't like horror. Well, then so you're they, watching the wrong movie, sweetheart. So, yeah, so they, they they marked it they marked it as uh, with a one, <laughs> saying I don't like horror. Well, then why? The fuck you should you probably be it? in a different genre looking for movies to watch. <laughs> right. them, dear, I looked through looked through the thing and like all she does is go watch horror movies and rate them as one star because she doesn't like horror. And I was like, I had a perfect derp, derp. five. I had a perfect five. <laughs> You'd go ruin it for me. Could you petition to get that one removed? I mean, I don't think that's a legit review. I have no. I don't. I don't know if there's a petition thing on there. I marked it as unhelpful, like seventy-five times. (laughs) Okay, so so we're just gonna jump right back in here. And uh, I, Toby Keith, love this bar. And uh, yeah, I was. uh, I'm the bartender over here, so um, that's kind of why we get away with doing this. Don't lie. You also get up on the pole. Well, that that's that's my this day pole, job. The one that's not not <laughs> lubricated. Well, yeah, I have to I have to do the non lubed pull. I just I can't do the lube. It, it, it causes friction burn and or not friction burn. It causes, well, you think uh, that'd be the exact opposite? Well, it, well yeah, it, it's just I don't know what I'm talking this about. One, I'm bad at segues. Why do people do this to me? It chafes. <laughs> it chafes. No, so what we want to talk about okay, today is what do we want to talk about? Banana uh, hammocks. <laughs> I, I have a movie about that, that too. How about we just talk about Vienna sausage hammocks? So I can actually participate in that conversation. <laughs> I think I just went permanently cross-eyed, rolling my eyes. <laughs> you, I heard you roll your eyes. Like that's how bad that. Was. Dunk. <laughs> Rolled around in that empty head. Go ahead. <laughs> so we're going to talk about a little. Uh, talk about uh, Pokemon Go. Yep, we're going to talk about uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, which yes. I just downloaded. So we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna play that. I actually bit. downloaded it on the iPad as soon as I got home after talking to Shanzi. Mm. So like, really okay, so we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about Pokemon Go. I joined the dark side. And since we're here at this fine gentleman's club, we're gonna talk about the stuff that pops up. Okay, which would, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> 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 boobies, <laughs> boobies and penises, <laughs> they go hand in hand. <laughs> so. I thought, yeah, that's the I way thought those went between the boobies. <laughs> what, the, the hands? hands? No. Wait, I don't know what happens. <laughs> so well, it just depends on your sex life, I guess. Oh, like, <laughs> She puts the microphone between them. <laughs> Let me simulate what this looks like. <laughs> because everybody listening to this can totally see me. <laughs> well, no, they can hear. It's like, like doing air quotes on the radio. What is that rubbing sound that we hear? 
<laughs> That's the friction burn we were discussing a minute ago. <laughs> Oh, my sweet goodness. Oh, God, we are off to a roaring start already. This is fantastic. I love it. So, last week we didn't get to get, be able to get to it. You wanted to talk about the top three video games. Video games. Yes, I want to so do So, let's top get to three. that now. Okay, so top three video games of all time. Uh, and you had some two, You had some input on this. Uh, and you said Doom uh, yes. by id Software. And, the, and then uh, Shanzi over here uh, had mentioned that uh, uh, Wolfenstein actually predated Right, it's accurate. I, it's predated. Doom. Right, but I think it didn't kick off until you had Doom. I mean, if you look at any of the other lists, uh, Wolfenstein makes Doom it, but a, Doom is actually higher rate, ranked than than Wolfenstein on a lot. And, of and mind you, guys, all 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 you fantastic listeners out there, these are strictly opinions. Okay, well, right. this is a uh, individually no, these are facts. based. Yeah, well, <laughs> one of them is going to be well, what I say is a fact. No, so you guys can. <laughs> Most influential. I think last listen. one standing. Yeah. Last one standing. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, that means I'll I be last, <laughs> and not the one last You'll one standing. I'll just be the first one. On that goes down. <laughs> so okay, so you got Doom, and where would you rank that? Number one, two, three. Three. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's the best. Or okay. I think it needs to be up there because. All right. So you say three. Oh, the you popularity got two and one, of it, or is this the just popularity uh, of it, is what I think launched, in my opinion, launched first-person shooters to be what they are. Fantastic. All right then. All right, so you got two? You got a number two? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I only have two. <laughs> Do you have a number no, one? No, actually, I am such a geek. I love so many. I can't actually count. Oh, my God, right? That's, this is seriously like one of the hardest. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Like, I've got my top three. Um, that's only because of the person that I am. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that mouth open. I'll be right there. <laughs> oh, I had a menthol cough drop in my mouth, and then I took a big swig of water. Why would you do that? So to it was like <laughs> you just tried. It was to take like I just swallowed the menthol <laughs> cough drop. <laughs> Gentlemen, I don't awful. know. I, I understand that nobody else can see this broadcast because, of course, we're on radio. Um, but I wish you could have uh, seen this right here. She just uh, opened her mouth so wide, the entire microphone. <laughs> I swallowed it <laughs> whole. <laughs> You swallowed the hole. No, I swallowed the microphone hole, Dick. Is that right? <laughs> I didn't know microphones had a hole, but well, they, well, they have several holes right there. See, <laughs> see, there's several. I'm not going to count them all. So, what is your number three? Let's get back to this. Oh, well, I got a two and a one. My number three is a little harder to pin down. Um, so you said like Final Fantasy is on that list. Uh, uh, yeah, one of my. Are, wait, are we Fantasy doing series or, or? No, no, no. Specific. I, no, I will do a ones. specific title. Like, so, Final okay. Fantasy uh, will be in that list. Uh, a Final Fantasy game will be in that list, uh, but it's that'll be situated at my number two. We're actually having a uh, radio broadcast. Paradise, you want to come over here and say hi to the folks? Come on, come everyone. Everyone, meet Paradise. I say hi, Paradise. Hello, Paradise. Where do you work? At Hoosier Girls. And what do you do here, Paradise? I'm a dancer. Yeah, are you a good dancer? Come and see me and find out. <laughs> there you go. That is there the best go. answer ever. <laughs> <laughs> and the doorman who's here uh, six days a week just looks over and goes, yeah, no, she totally is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, my number three, I, uh, okay. I'm probably going to get some hate for number three, but, but that's okay. Well, that's um, just because I'm here. Oh, well, yeah. All right, so... Mm. Sitting at number three, I am going to, I got to say, and this is going to sound really bad, and I'm sorry, but uh, I think Mario, like Super <laughs> Mario World is World? number three. World? Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. And I, I'm going to, hold on, it, that it's seriously, it's a very close one for me for between Super Mario World and and Super Mario 64. And the only reason that I would throw 64 in the mix, like they 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 they're darn near tied. Super Mario World took what is platforming and made it bright, colorful. The soundtrack was awesome. The gameplay was great. There are levels on there that were hard, but without being ridiculous. Like the power-up system was great. It was just a very fun game to play when it got launched. And Nintendo's always had very successful launch titles. Mm-hmm. And Super Mario World is no different than, than any of the other ones that they launched in bundle packs. But uh, Super Mario World, to me, um, you know, I, I can just, I'm change it to 64. You know what? I'll, I'll change it to 64. <laughs> That's why I said they're interchangeable. Um, Super Mario 64 did what nothing else at the time could do. And it took... It redefined the boss fight. It, it, oh God, it redefined... Yeah, I mean, it's a great example. It redefined the boss fight. Um, and, and to boot, it, it took three-dimensional... Like, you don't have 3D platformers... 
in the manner that you have currently without Super Mario 64 paving the way. Right. And and it's the gameplay is fun. It's still fun. There are speed run challenges to this this 2016. I think that game came out what 96. I think Super Mario 64 came out in 1996. So 20 years later, that game still stands the test of time. <laughs> still ridiculously fun to play. And there are still speed run challenges being done for that game. Like, can you get all the stars? <laughs> can you can you can you get all you know? Can you play as Luigi? Like those questions are still all over the internet. Like, internet was in its infancy back then, and now I'm still seeing like forums discussing like different speed run <laughs> tactics. And I'm like, <laughs> there's like eighty thousand people looking at this. I'm like, good god! <laughs> you launched into this, and it immediately made me think of my top three retro games. Okay, well, well that's I, that's I another list. I like we, that. We should, we should right. Just, we should just, uh, like, I, I'm gonna go all time, and then we'll do we'll do individual okay. eras. I, I like that because you you will laugh at my retro game list. I, I want to get your you will get your retro game list in a minute. Just don't lose it, don't lose it. So that's oh, my number no. three. I'm going to go Super Mario 64 soundtrack. Uh, Shanzi pointed out something great: the, the redefined boss fight, uh, the platform, the challenge level involved with that, and the, the way they designed their controller. It, it literally felt like that controller was designed specifically for Super Mario 64. Also, very important to note that there are games 20 years later that still can't get this right: the camera. If they had four buttons on their controller <laughs> that were specifically designed for the camera, right? Like, there are games that still can't get that right. 20 years later, you've got the granddaddy of them all in, in Mario, mm-hmm. you know, coming to the 3D platform and showing you guys how to do camera and, and how to make it really simple to control the camera and what camera angles should look like, and y'all still can't get that shit right. Like, there's something wrong with that. that you can adjust the camera to see the camera. Yes. Oh, yeah, and it's a Lakitu, like, or Lakitu, or whatever the hell it's called. Lakitu, I think is what it's called. And, and he's literally sitting up there, and he's, holding, he's sitting he's over in his cloud with the camera behind you. And it's fantastic. <laughs> it's, I love it. Like, it's so great. And, like, you can zoom all the way out and, like, see this little tiny little, you know, polygon assortment running around the screen. Or you can zoom all the way in and, and see the inside of Mario's ass, which is hollow, apparently. <laughs> I mean, well, even with the bugs and stuff in that game, well, even with the bugs in that game, it was still very fun. Yeah, that's <laughs> a great point, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's my number three. Krista, do you have a number three? I can like, finish my list. She's well, like, Fallout 4. No, no. Um. <laughs> I was dangerously close to putting it on there. <laughs> the original Super Mario Brothers. Really? Yeah. The original Super Mario Brothers. All right, yes. why? Because... <laughs> to me, for me, because I mean, I grew up in an all girl house of girly girls. I mean, I'm pretty girly to a lot of people I know, and to my family, I'm a tomboy. So, she says wearing a floral <laughs> shirt with, <laughs> with never mind that <laughs> with 27 pounds of jewelry. <laughs> no, I only have a bracelet and a necklace on. Do you have like five that bracelets one in bracelet? one? For someone that sells jewelry, I should really and, have a lot more. And 67 necklaces. No, that is one, one bracelet. <laughs> oh my, that that looks like five. That's it technically rats. a bangle. I think that's considered a bangle. No, because it doesn't bang around. Does it walk? Does it walk like an Egyptian? I think it does. I think okay. it should vogue. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first game that I ever played. Really? Okay. I mean, so I played on Atari. Are you playing Pokemon Atari, Go right now? Maybe. <laughs> 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 Maybe you should just shut your dirty mouth and mind your own business. Yes. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> well, apparently, yes. wait, wait. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hang on. There's a Charmander in Shanzi's lap. <laughs> <laughs> like, Is there like, really? Literally, literally in the, like the get worst it, get, place get possible. Get take that, get that take the picture. I want to put it on. A... Yeah, hold I on, got it. I, I took a screenshot of it. It was like, because, <laughs> <laughs> not even joking. Shanzi struck the it Charmander. Was just, it was just totally chilling right in your crotch. Did you catch it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell yeah. She got a Charmander. That's awesome. See, right, so we're, we're going to try to gentlemen, you need to get your ass. If you are Pokemon Go fans, you need to get your ass down to Hoosier Girls right now. Listen to our broadcast uh, and catch yourself a Char uh, Charmander on, on Chauncey's lap. lap. <laughs> that'll, that'll this is the VIP that'll room, which is the hottest place in the bar. So, I mean, makes sense. Yes, I am. It is pretty hot. Okay. I don't really know what I'm doing. I've never played Pokemon. Well, you just captured a Charmander. Yeah, though. yeah, that's Chauncey's pretty lap. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to log in and it's going to be like, no, there's nothing for you, bro. <laughs> nope, she got it like five minutes ago. <laughs> All right, so anyway, so, so you said no, once you catch Super it, it's gone. You have to, you know, find something else. No, that's not true. They, they, Shh, that means that they randomly hush your logic, area, which is awesome. By the way, I like we need to put rare. a gym here. I think so. All right, so anyways, <laughs> um, Krista, you said number three, Super Mario Brothers. But yeah, well, it was my first, you know, well, real gaming experience, <laughs> other than like um, Pac-Man on the Atari, or you know. 
um, strawberry shortcake games on the Atari. I'm not even joking. Um, <laughs> as long as you weren't an ET fan. Did you ever play I, ET? No. Okay, good. <laughs> that was the most horrible game on the planet. Now my first console. We're do that though, one next. My first console was a Sega Genesis, and on that I played uh, Sonic. Sonic Tails. Oh, Sonic and Tails. Okay, that was the second one, I think, wasn't it? Anybody confirm that for me? I believe it the is. Third one. I believe it is because now when I buy that oh, game on the vintage, be able to play it on your PS4 <laughs> version, um, it's it doesn't come up as Sonic and Tails. It comes up as Sonic Two or something like that. Okay, but it is Sonic. Okay, so right. that's so your number three. So. So yeah, so you got that one. What's your number two? Oh no, you got to go with your number two now. Are you I, still? I thought we were going back around. Oh okay. Uh, well, you go. Your I was two. the first one that said okay. Yeah, you were. You were first. I was second. She was third. Now you go again. Numbers. Math. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to say Halo Two. Halo Two. Okay, why? Why do you think Halo Two? This, it started to get stupid after that. <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> And Sean's he's just crossing his arms like, I hate your face right now. You're not wrong. <laughs> 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 All right, so um, was it the gameplay? The, the no, I, I mean, it, it, it's the series that launched the X- Xbox. Yeah. Halo series. Honestly, this the only reason we have an Xbox One is because my wife wanted Halo 5. <laughs> <laughs> one of the games. It was, it, right. but, but realistically, though, without... Project Gotham was also... Uh, well, that was a racing game, wasn't it? Yeah, well, yeah Project Gotham. Well, the <laughs> thing with... with uh, Those are one of the two ones. Well, the, the way that I look at it, and what I actually kind of consider with Halo is, and I honestly believe this, Microsoft is doing poorly. And if it had not been for the sales of Halo, Halo 2, Halo 3, all mm-hmm. the Halo franchises... If it wasn't for Bungie. If, if not for Shanti's lap, yeah. I wouldn't have two Pokemon right now. Oh my god, you caught another one on his <laughs> yeah. lap? Jeez. Dude, apparently your lap is a spawning <laughs> whore. Right, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> You now, I've a, never played Pokemon, got, so I'm not 100% sure what you, this one is. Oh, it's a Venonat. A Venonat? Okay, from... <laughs> Dude, you totally Bunches have bugs. Pokemon, like this is happening so, right now. Laugh, I, 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 <laughs> you totally laugh. have. It was <laughs> like it was like walk around in the real world to figure out blah blah blah, and, so, and I was like, "What's that?" And then it showed on his lap again. <laughs> oh my god, that's absolutely fantastic. Okay. Apparently, you have bugs because that was a venonet. All right, so <laughs> he comes off and uh, Charmander left him he's behind. Got his number two yeah, right? is Halo. Is Halo two? Okay. Right. Um. So my number two is probably no surprise to anybody at all because I already know what my number one is, and I, I kind of gave. I thought it you away. said it was really. Oh no, you said it was difficult to pick out your number three. Well, yeah, my number three was kind of hard because there's a lot of games that I would love to throw on a top three list like that, um, but some of them just don't make a lot of sense. So my number two, um, we talked about this a couple weeks ago with my top uh, ten RPGs of all time. Number number two for me is Final Fantasy VI. As far as video games are concerned. That is my number two of all time. Um, simply, there's 14 playable characters. Uh, the soundtrack by Nobu uh, Oimatsu was phenomenal. The gameplay itself was just incredible. It it did away with the job system from Final Fantasy V in lieu of characters with a specific set of skills, which I thought was great. Now, the magic system they allowed uh, with the espers, uh, the you could learn, every character could learn every single spell without any type of, of penalty. The level up system was unique in the fact that you could actually equip those espers, and each esper would give you a specific, st- a, a more specific stat increase um, when you would level up. Um, so, like, you know, a certain esper, uh, I think Odin gave you, like, plus two vitality or plus two strength or something. So if you were trying to get your character to be, you know, swing his weapon for a stupid amount of damage, you'd equip Odin and let him level up about 15 times while he has Odin, and he's trying to learn Ultima. Or rather, not Ultima, he's trying to learn, uh, uh, I think, Meteor. Right, so while he's learning the spell Meteor, which takes a while to learn, and then at the same time as he's leveling, as your character's leveling up, um, they're learning, uh, you know, they're, they're getting stat increases in specific areas, which is just fantastic to me. Um, so... I don't know. So for me, that just it solidified it as. And then the, the you have the story, like the story itself was great. And I, I touched on this. You know, the bad guy. Spoiler alert, hey guys! Everybody, spoiler alert! If you haven't played Final Fantasy VI, um, first of all, quit living under your rock um, and go pick <laughs> up a copy. But I like it here. 
No, you don't. Uh, go play Final Fantasy VI. It's, it's absolutely cozy. fantastic uh, game. Um, I've got four different copies of it. Like, I still have my original Super Nintendo copy floating around somewhere. I've got the Anthologies copy for the PS1. Um, I have a DS copy of Final Fantasy VI. Uh, and then I have Well, then I have uh, a digital. copy because I can steal your DS copy. I have the digital copy um, for <laughs> uh, my PlayStation 3. So I, and I have four copies of it. That's how much I love this game. Um, and I think I paid for all but one of them. <laughs> so... Um, an absolutely fantastic game. Uh, story's great. Music's great. Play is great. Level system is great. Um, everything about the, the game from top to bottom is just a finished product. And you didn't see the kind of graphics that it... You know, a lot of people are like, well, oh, it's 16-bit. And I'm like, well, actually, it was a 24-bit game. And so they were able to do a little bit more with this first introduced Mode 7 transportation. The top-down view, like the detail, the character detail was great. And it, it made you fall in love with little, you know... Sp- you know, rendered sprites. That was great. And they actually, you felt like they had feeling, and it was, I loved it. It was great. So that was, that's my number two. It's Final Fantasy VI. And I think it'll stay in the test of time, and I think 10 years from now, people will still be playing that game. Is it wrong that I prefer my wife games still that are 2D? <laughs> my no, wife still plays that game. My wife still plays that game. In fact, she was playing it last time. What, Final Fantasy VI? Yeah. So it's a great game. Well, Final Fantasy III, by the way, in the U.S. So if you want the Super Nintendo copy, you got to go get Final Fantasy III. Or the Super Famicom version in Japan would be Final Fantasy VI. Well, I don't live in Japan, though. Right, which... Okay, anyways, go ahead. But so what's your, what's your number two, then? Amazon. Miss Krista, what do you got for number two? Well... Yeah. Hang on, all eyes on you. One? What did I say for my first one? I forget already. <laughs> the original already. Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that was number three. <laughs> yeah, because it got ruined when they decided to make it into 3D. No, no. <laughs> That's my opinion, and I'm allowed to have no, it, mister. You're wrong. Otherwise, your butthole can swallow this microphone. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to happen. You know this, that. This is going to be an interesting night. I'm going to have to wash it when I get home. <laughs> you, you might want to just throw it out. <laughs> get a new one all together. Bro, trust right? me. You want to throw that shit away. <laughs> I don't think I Okay, so what's your, what's your number two? What's your number two? See, well, I'm more of an MMO person. Well, that's fine. So, um, yeah, well, and and I also, I just, sentimental value for my first. So, Ashram's Call was my first MMO. And and it was a hard time time for me to let go of that and play anything different. And when I let go of that and played something different, I went with Anarchy Online. And I have to say, Anarchy Online was probably one of the better MMOs that I've played. Um, All right. So, Ashram's Call then? Yeah. No, uh, Anarchy Online. Okay, Anarchy Online. Ashram's Call was my first. Pop my cherry. (laughs) <laughs> you, I, I, you do have a lot of to, a lot of love for your first. I do. Not all of my first. <laughs> I was say, like I said, we're about to get we're about to get deep up in this motherfucker. <laughs> now I'm I feel like I'm at a psychiatrist's office. Well, you're down on the, on the couch. couch. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I am on the couch, and you know they do they do say you know like your hairdresser and um, bartenders. And strippers alike are all your your uh, well, therapists. Well, no, customers, that cost a lot customers less. are the strippers' therapists. <laughs> <laughs> Pay me money the other to way talk around. about my problems. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're back. We're down to number ones. Yeah, we are. And, uh, so, what's your what's your number one then, Chris? Back. <laughs> <laughs> um, my number one, I would have to say. And you, you, you'll notice a theme with, with these, because this is what I play. And I suck at them, but I play them all the damn time. Um, I would have to say Call of Duty. And I, I almost have to say whatever, because I am a first-person shooter. I, I bet like, you are, yeah. I like to, I like <laughs> <laughs> you yourself headshots all the time, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Watch where you're aiming! You hear that a lot. <laughs> Only from my wife. <laughs> no, but I, I, I'm, I, I love uh, FPS games. All right, so which Call of Duty, though? That's really, really hard because, like, the, la- the so far, like, they Narrow keep getting better. They keep getting better, in my opinion, uh, rather than, you know. So the most recent one? Now, I didn't like, <laughs> I did not like Advanced Warfare. So I, I liked the story of Advanced Warfare. I did not like the, the. I liked what they brought to it. The I, I like the concept. Clunky, the concept the, was fun. The clunky. Um, this last one, um, Black, Ops Black Ops 3. Three. I love it to death. I like Black like, Ops 3. I will play that all day, every day. I'll, I'll blow. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, so I will drop. I, I had to adjust my, my time. I will drop money on all sorts of stuff for that game because it's just so much fun for me to play. 
Right. I, I can't. I've played it at LAN parties. And that's when I found out I'm really, really bad at first person shooters. <laughs> 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 well, you played it at my house, too. And I thought for sure that you. No, were, I never played Call of Duty die. at your house. So. You did not thought you played no, Call of Duty? No, no. You had me play Borderlands. And I oh, couldn't. that's right. That's. I can't function in first-person shooters. I go, I go full ding dong and <laughs> and start running well, into walls and, like and blowing myself exes, up so. and <laughs> things like that. You know, but like I said, the that's, usual. <laughs> that's where I. That's where I exist. That's the most like ninety percent of the games that I play. Right. Is is that right there? So, I mean, I can't say. You know, when we get into the retro games, as soon as like we're done with this. I'll rip off my top three retro games, and you look at me and go, oh, my God, what the hell are you talking about? Like, shonzi has been doing it every time I open my mouth. Hey, Shonzi, there's a Bulbasaur on your lap. So, what is your wow. number one, Mr. Mister Chris? Uh, my number one? Uh, let me catch his Bulbasaur. We, we be, <laughs> Hang on, let me, let me catch Sean's Bulbasaur that's in his lap. <laughs> well, you said balls. Like, you can't even... He, you can't I think even he said that me. one's permanently attached, so maybe you shouldn't try and catch that one. <laughs> it might, it might, you know, hurt him a lot. Okay, well, I finally figured out how to do it, so... <laughs> yeah, you gotta flick it. I saw that. Flick it. How old are you, and you're just now figuring out how to do it? <laughs> uh, none of your business. <laughs> it's none of your damn business. <laughs> All right, so... All right, what's so, your number um, one? My number one... Um, so people should probably not be surprised in case they haven't figured out that I'm a Nintendo fanboy already. Um, <laughs> my number one um, period the end is uh, <sighs> is is I don't I almost don't want to say it, but I'm going to because just it's, say it. It's, it's cliched. So Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, I think is is by far uh, the best game that I have ever ever played. Uh, I I just do. the The graphics are fantastic. It took a top down. I mean, because you go back, you look at Link to the Past, and that that game was just legendary, and right. it was so fun. And it, I still play it. I, I I bought it. You know, I got an emulator and I downloaded it, and I still play <laughs> that game. The game is fun. But um, oh, I guess I have five copies of Final Fantasy VI. By the way, because I forgot about my emulator. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little out of control, huh? All right, so all right, but Miss First, what is your your hey, I wasn't done touting the the. the well, yeah, but we know you're just a fanboy. It's over there jerking off for Nintendo. <laughs> I really am. I really am. I can't. So, um, I love challenges, and so puzzle games are a big thing for me that I really like. Riven so, or Mist? Professor Layton games on the, my DS. Uh-huh. Absolutely love playing those. And um, so, I'd have to say, <laughs> I can probably. Hear you. <laughs> yeah, we can hear you over there playing Pokemon Go, bitch. Yeah, you shut, you shut your <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I would have to say probably Diabolical Box which is the second one mm-hmm. um, is my favorite and uh, so yeah I'd have to say that that's my number one alright then I, I, there's another game that I really like but I haven't finished it so <laughs> well, that's I don't fair. really I'm, I don't really, really say feel the like game is the best <laughs> until you finish it so. yeah and I, I just <laughs> haven't you know felt like finishing it I guess <laughs> Because I've had it for like five years, <laughs> but I love playing it. It's just, but I keep losing the save, so I have to start over. All right, so uh, we have everybody's top threes. Yes, I'm going to rip off my before we start talking about this game that you guys are catching stuff off of off of Shanzi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time's the best. <laughs> I'm going to give my quick retro games. And I'm okay. talking about these are my favorite. My top three games that if I'm feeling nostalgic for like old school games, I'm talking about old school games. These are the ones that I will actually find and use with uh, um, use uh, DOSBox on my computer to play. My f- number three is Warcraft Two: Tides of Darkness. Okay. I love those strategy real, you know, RTS games. Where you had to build up and do all this stuff, and I'm not wasn't a command and conquer guy, but I got addicted to Warcraft with Orcs versus Humans, and right. Tides of Darkness actually got it a lot easier to, to function. <laughs> 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 so that I actually have a, a fresh save that I played last night sitting on my computer right now. Nice. <laughs> my number two, Caveman Games. Wasn't oh, that the one that was kind of oh, like the NES. Olympics? 
like uh, yes, the but they use the, like, they use the power pad. You know, it, well, I use we use a controller, but uh, you know, you got to. Uh, there was like Caveman Olympics, pretty much a Caveman <laughs> game. Yes, where you got to okay. uh, you grab the woman and you spin around and throw her. Oh, for the discus! Oh, yeah, yeah that's not sexist. Or <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Dino races where you get like hurdles with dinos. Yeah, know, that's stuff. yeah. So Pete is going to write us a letter. <laughs> but, no, because it's like totally but, fictional. <laughs> Dinosaurs and humans didn't exist at the same time. <laughs> Unless you live in Kentucky, right? Let's go to the nose art display. <laughs> but, <laughs> but so, uh, so Caveman Games is my number I was two. That was false. <laughs> this is my number two. That if I feel just I want to go back to the '80s, that's one of the games I pick up nice. for my computer. Nice. And the number one old school game, Battle Toads. Oh my god, that game was so hard. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> I never beat. I never beat Battle Toads. Um, as much of a gamer as I am, and as much as I enjoy challenges like that, I never beat Battletoads. I got stuck on that stupid raft level. You know I got stuck. Dude, I never picked it up after I was like five years old. So, I mean, in fairness, I never went back to try to beat it. What the hell did you play? So, when, when I want to play, <laughs> <laughs> the only the only old school hey, device <laughs> I even still have is my original Game Boy. Like, not, not a Game Boy Color, not a Game Boy Advance. Yeah. The original brick Game Boy. <laughs> and so I have... Uh, the one that doubled as an anti-theft device, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here, try to take my Game Boy. Okay. Watch me beat you with it. <laughs> so it still functions perfectly fine. Well, yeah, because you and can be in a nuclear blast and still well, yeah. turn on. I mean, you what, should you should be able to was, find, the by the way... Was it the original Game Boy that they actually put through an explosion? Like, they blew it up and it still worked? No, it was the original Game Boy that, that uh, a soldier had on him and got blown up in an IED. And it still worked. And it still worked. It's enshrined in New York. That's awesome. <laughs> at, a, at a museum. So I don't have very many games on it still, but um, I'll still love to pick up the Looney Tune Adventures games on it. And then there's also uh, um, Super Mario Brothers 3 on it. But of course, you can't save your progress on an old school Game Boy. Well, right. no, you could on some of them. Some of the like the Final Fantasy games stuff had a battery on them. Mm-hmm. Not on my games. <laughs> one save file, yeah. You yeah. were allowed one save file, and that was all you were allowed to have. If you were, if you so tried if anything of that. Picked up your Game Boy and started playing the game. Be crazy, new, new save, and just erase all your. <laughs> yeah, that, that was. Uh, that, I think that was the first time I beat the shit out of a five-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> you were twenty at the time. I mean, come on. <laughs> I didn't think so. his mom and dad would be so angry. I thought they'd understand, but they had no idea. So. uh... What was you, you? You gave us our yours. Yeah, we, no, we, hey, we've talked about our our vintage games. No, that we like love. I, I've gone over some more. <laughs> like the original Legend of Zelda, mm. um, that that goes up there. Oh, I, I, I do. Really I did play that one a little kinda, bit. Uh, my cousin was the one with the Super uh, <laughs> um, Super Nintendo. Ultima Four. Uh, uh, Ultima Four Quest of the Avatar was ported over to the NES and it was really fun. I loved it. Um, I mean, uh, pretty much any any old school. Um, NES game from back like I remember uh, Kung Fu I don't know if you guys ever played yes. that like, it was so <laughs> so it was so simplistic in the way that it handled but it was so yeah kick kick punch punch kick kick punch punch as I'm I'm actually emulating doing <laughs> it but I'm I'm kicking while I'm punching it's crazy anyways uh, but yeah so I, like Kung if Fu you have a bad like emulator that, that um, happens uh, uh, game my dad and I used to play a Contra yes oh god Contra that's oh, gotta go uh, Contra 3 uh, up for the down Super Nintendo left right A B B B up up down down left right <laughs> Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. A, B, 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 A, start. No, B, A, B, A. That's it. Ah, up, I, up, what was it? Up, I, up, down, down, left, right. I, left, right, B, A. Up, down, B, A. I have to actually do it with That's my... That's what it is. Up, up, down, down, left, right, B, A. Up, down, B, A. Start. And that was for two players. Yes, but... Why the fuck would you play with when you're by yourself? Because I needed 99 lives to beat that horrifically hard game. <laughs> Although I actually, um, I did try to do That's one of those. Why you never beat Battle That's exactly <laughs> right. Um, I did beat the original. Uh, I did, or not original. Excuse me. I did beat Contra Three, um, and I beat that with the three life challenge. Now I got the the extra lives from the points, uh, but I did beat it uh, with the initial three lives, and that was that was that was pretty much a highlight of my uh, one of the highlights of my gaming career was uh, being able to beat Contra Three without using the economy code and without uh, <laughs> without using any continues. Dude, I still can't like, I st- still can't beat. Uh... I mean, I can, but it takes forever, more a lot, a lot longer. All the old Warcraft RTSs without 
without the money cheating, cheats. Without the money cheats. <laughs> There's so many people that and actually it, just play the Sims it, games. It's, it, it's not. <laughs> it's not because of. It's not because of what I mean. I, I use it once, <laughs> build all my buildings, and then defend, and then I then I mine and do all the other stuff. And you know, right. I end up wiping the thing, but I I I go to clear the map. I don't ever do the, the you know show the screen or whatever. So I use it to to get up enough people so I can go march through every there's, square there's, inch of it and just decimate everything. There, there's a there's another topic for probably another another uh, session here, but uh, the uh, the best uh, best best games with cheat codes. Well, so, any enemy code. So what's the what's the say it again? Okay, so like. There, there's the there's the ID cheat codes for for Doom, which allowed you like walk through walls and uh, just. It was, it was an ID piss pod. Yeah, like make people's heads explode by punching them, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> then, then there's also like uh, like he was talking about in uh, in uh, Warcraft, uh, the uh, real time strategy, uh, like use like pot of gold and like. Uh, there's also codes for like uh, wipe, wiping the in uh, Warcraft two. Being able to see everything in Warcraft two, half of the codes were Star Trek related. Yeah, um, uh, yeah any economy to game, by the, the way, the economy code. Just for reference purposes, for anybody that ever wants to know, the economy code works in every single economy game, even in Dance Dance Revolution. The economy code works. You actually on the because you have it right there. It's up, up, down, down, left, right, and then you hit player one, player two for BA, and then you hit left, right, BA, up, down, BA. Well, like also, then you actually like, hit the start button. Like the, uh, uh, what was it? Then it works, uh, and it's very funny. You can just get a little scene of a guy dancing around. The, uh, what was it? Uh, <laughs> Ed, 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 Ga- Ed Gabe is, uh, the game title is, uh, was, uh, the D- D&D computer game. DDO? Is that about D&D Online? No. This is like, uh, this is like old school circa XP. Oh. I don't know, I have no idea. Baldur's Gate? No. Uh, what was after that? After that, Neverwinter? Neverwinter Nights. Neverwinter Nights, okay. Neverwinter Nights, uh, uh, codes were, were pretty baller, cause, uh, well... Well, Neverwinter was one of those that allowed you to actually have. She got another uh, one. To create a your own worlds because it had the level editor. You know, it, it came with an editor to where you can create your own games and do your own mods and do all. all it's also other why stuff. I love I love Minecraft, by the way. So for that reason, what a lot of people did was they went in and level jumped because they like oh you open this chest you get X amount of money, X amount of experience, all these magical weapons and the suit of armor. So they would go in, create these little things, and then walk in to whatever <laughs> Neverwinter campaign that they wanted. Also, I know uh, I did that several also times. Also, it kind of makes me think back to the days of Game Shark and played uh, Resident Evil 2, <laughs> uh, where uh, you have a knife that shoots rockets. <laughs> <laughs> That would ultimately corrupt your your save file, but it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we got everybody's retro games. Yep. Um. So this Pokemon Go. <laughs> what I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that y'all been playing. Right. I have to. Like I said, I tried to download it on my iPad. However, I don't have any data on my iPad, so it's Wi-Fi only. I'm running Wi-Fi li- right now because I don't. I'm not trying to eat up any more of the data that I. Already I live have. in a small ass town with like five people in it. With like 900 people <laughs> in it. We Literally, don't have his any. House Pokemon. is the town. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any Pokemon in our town. So I was like, and I will. There's nothing here. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, we'll Whitney move Houston's. and find somewhere else to find Pokemon. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess, okay, that's, that's not Whitney a game Houston's, for me. Uh, that's, that's and I have a, I'm one of those, those awful people who have a Windows phone. So, of course, nothing is made for, <laughs> no games are made for Windows phones. Because apparently, us Windows phones people don't like playing games. No, no, you, you only Unless like it's a with, Microsoft game. Unless it's a Microsoft game. I can play solitaire like a boss on my on my phone. All right, so uh, well, let's let's, uh, let's talk about some movies really quick. So, um, Krista, I know wants to start. this. I want to just talk about Pokemon. 
Oh, we were talking about Pokemon Go. Yeah, right now. He, were you not paying attention? No. <laughs> he was Obviously. Playing, <laughs> he was over there playing, playing Pokemon. I was over there playing Pokemon. <laughs> well, Sean left, so you weren't going to catch any. <laughs> I know. He left, and all the Pokemon were with him. <laughs> Sean's like, bring your lap back here. I need to catch more Pokemon. <laughs> the crash of ever springing Pokemon. <laughs> Yes, that is what yeah, was yeah, in your ball. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I posted it to Facebook and I tagged two of you in it. <laughs> so, what kills me is which I should edit I was it on now, my way I here. Say three. <laughs> I was on my way here. Okay, <laughs> and I watched a big black Dodge Ram, all big muscle truck, rolling down the road, slam on the brakes. Cut into a parking lot and two full grown ass men <laughs> <laughs> hop out and walk into an empty lot and wander around like this. You know, like, well, it's, it's here somewhere, we gotta find it. They stopped for a minute, went, and then turned around, high fived each other, and walked back to the truck. <laughs> 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 like it, it was so the game I guess is already being touted like it's, it's really <laughs> stress levels and people who don't typically go outside to actually be a video game like by the way so I just, you I have this out. This with like actually, anxiety this is a mobile this like is that. a mobile version of Pokemon Snap yeah you have to I, I mean, go outside realistically and go do it. what it is yeah you know, um, it's built on some of the other uh, alternate reality games I mean in fact it uses the same engine so if you're in a populated area that had this other in, uh, other database or whatever. Uh, all those locations that had a lot of players, mm -hmm. uh, that's where they get their information on population and whatnot, and that's where all the Pokemon will be. Which just explains why you don't have any goddamn Pokemon. <laughs> right, because <laughs> I am in a farm town of 900 people. <laughs> I, I did read earlier today that uh, their, their players uh, having to kayak out to the ocean to, uh, <laughs> to, to uh, play with Jim. <laughs> that's kind of awesome, though. <laughs> But I don't kayak. You better learn, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta learn today. You gotta learn today. My boy. favorite, my favorite story though is the Westboro Baptist uh, Church has been listed as a gym. They auto populated as a gym in the Westboro Baptist, Westboro Baptist Church, and somebody went in, captured the gym, and left a cliff fairy named Love is Love guarding the gym. <laughs> yeah, what's more, Baptist Church is a gym. They That's fight. Like they fought. They're, they're back. just trying to get more people in their church. They <laughs> fought they hate back. Them so much. <laughs> they fought back, thinking that oh, we'll take it. And, you know, they took it with and left a jigglypuff. <laughs> Do they not that know adorable. Pokemon? <laughs> it is adorable. It's a little Pokemon I want that one. <laughs> with a microphone, and it sings. And if you don't pay attention to it, it gets angry and hits. Oh wait, you. I think I've seen a, a clip on YouTube or something. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right, yeah. Wait. But, well, there's nothing or like, like punching a guy for Jesus. So there's a video running around some guy. Some so guy is it like Peaches? Says, you stop petting her? She just nudges you until you and start petting her again? No. I it's... know. <laughs> <laughs> I punched that kid in the chest. And I crumbled. Only more violent. <laughs> <laughs> more violent. Oh, God. All right. So anyways, it's so a Pokemon gun. It, it seems to be pretty fun. Um, I think it's going to get a lot of people who don't typically come out of their house while they're playing video games. It's going to get them out, and you know what? It's going to create. It's already cool, told you know. It's going to get but new it's too hot circles. outside right now. Like I see tons of people who are walking. In. You just you're just anti Pokemon in general. <laughs> Except for the fact that they're sitting on his lap. <laughs> <laughs> they love. They love you. You. <laughs> you might not like them, but they love you. <laughs> I, I, I am a fan of hug us. <laughs> 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 They're attracted to the monster. Uh, in fairness, uh, Shanzi is completely, and totally anti-slavery. <laughs> ultimately, what Pokemon kind of is, and it's it's kind of creepy. Oh no, there's this. There, I'm being ridiculous. No, it's right now, it's but. Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what it is. Like you keep them. Well, that's why sugar bears love you. You keep them. That's in why a, most animals love you. <laughs> much. Except for mine. Mine all love me because they, they just love me. <laughs> all right, so me in a cage and give me treats all day. I might learn to love you. <laughs> I'm just saying. We're going to talk about this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk a little bit about uh, this uh, new Final Fantasy mobile right, game. Yeah, um, so you go ahead and start talking about that. I'm going to go ahead and jump on there and start playing a little bit. So I have at least a, 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 an earmark to bend. Right. So, right. Mr. Shanzi, you're the one that knows that's been playing this the longest um, and actually brought it to my attention. 
So what what is this game that you are speaking of? All right, so uh, games, Square Enix uh, put out put out a uh, an app game, which uh, got, it, it made me go like, eh, this this might be okay or it might be terrible. No, it is totally awesome. <laughs> it, it's basically uh, a free Final Fantasy game that uh, that you can that you can uh, you can put money into if you want to. But I totally haven't. <laughs> We're and, totally gonna get flagged because you're wanting to play and, uh, Final my, Fantasy music. And my, uh, I'm, oh, I didn't play I'm, ra- I'm rank eleven, <laughs> like, uh, like, because there's different tiers for which gives you different abilities. It's how you get more energy uh, per day, blah blah blah. But uh, so you have only X like amount a, of energy per day to while you're to, for doing like dungeons and stuff. Okay. But like, there's other stuff that you can do. Um, but uh, it's basically like basically like uh, so. Okay. Yeah, she's a but like maybe. I thought you were just assuming but that she was working. <laughs> you're like, like hey. flagging like random they're, people they're, down. There are references to <laughs> pretty much every, every like. I currently have. Uh, Kefka in my party and Biggs and Wedge, <laughs> uh, which uh, Kefka and the Biggs and Wedge are from Final Fantasy VI, which uh, they're they're totally rocking like uh, the the Magitek armor, uh, <laughs> which, which by the way is from Final Fantasy VI. Just for anybody who's oh curious about that, <laughs> we put jerking off the corners and then. <laughs> <laughs> in fairness, that's no, square. When, when he was going on about about how he loved. Final Fantasy VI. I show him that I have I have Kafka. <laughs> <laughs> but so this uh, is this is a free this is a free game. Yeah, it's a free game. And uh, I'll be honest, I I went home, downloaded, it, I played through the first thing, and now we're walking back to after they attack the ship, like at the very beginning. Yeah. And I made it through the first thing, and bought, the fights seem really really simple enough. Well, the to, fucking intro to video is pretty sexy. Uh, there's also espers if uh, Chris is interested in that as well. Oh no, I'm I'm totally taking all of them. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like uh, uh, the games, there the 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 fights are really easy. I mean, not easy in the sense that you know, oh whatever. It's easy to go target attack, tar- you know, like slide yeah, over like, to do uh, attack to do sli- magic. Slide your slide your left is items. Mm-hmm. Slide, slide up is attack. Slide uh, right is uh, special abilities, so like spells, summons, uh, limit breaks, stuff like that. <laughs> um, you don't have to mop that up when you're done, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's beer. I may lick it off the floor. <laughs> I, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> that. That might void your factory warranty. <laughs> I said, "Screw it! Here, you do it." <laughs> <laughs> no, but anyway, I've been I've been playing this game for, I don't for dance a week this. now. And, uh, <laughs> I don't want to dance with these things about this. Is like if uh, Chris, if if uh, Chris uh, uh, any of the Chris's that that play this. Uh, not that you can't play it, and you're not your name's not Chris, so just. But. Uh, Basically, uh, when you make when you make a when you make a, when you start start up a, a game, you get you get a, a player ID, mm-hmm. which is a seri- series of uh, of uh, thirty three digit numbers separated by by uh, by dots, which aren't necessarily a a uh, a uh, like web address, but. It, that's just the way that they do stuff, right? Well, if you send if you send that number to somebody who who uh, who uh, wants who's currently playing that, you can now be friends on the game regardless of what operating system your your phone or tablet is running. Oh, no kidding! No kidding! Nice. But still, like I, I like I said before, I have a Windows phone. <laughs> I, I test I tested that theory last night, and it works. So I have a Windows phone, and it won't allow me to download it. It doesn't have it for Well, Windows. eventually it will be available because it is still in version 1. Right. Like well, it, I mean, I, I, I take it for granted not a lot of stuff, actually. It's really only had two patches, so it's fairly bug-free, even even for a brand-new app game, which is 
extremely impressive. Um, I used to do tech support for for uh, for Apple, and uh, bugs in applications is just a foregone conclusion, right? Um, because it it uh, I mean they're the developers make this game in the span of less than a year, and then. Well, I mean, yeah, modern games, it, it kind of, like, that goes into what not modern game. I'm going to have to go on a rant here for a second. Modern games aren't what you, aren't like what you get bef- got before. Everything relies on uh, the internet and internet connection to patch and get it right. Because everything comes out with a deadline before it's even ready. You know, like, if you look at new stuff. If you look at uh, um, how many games have we came out with pre-orders and pre-releases and all this other stuff, where people got to play it, and then like the next patch, turn around and finally fix the game with all these bugs that were going on. Unity, uh, Assassin's Creed Unity was the prime example when people got it from the store, they started playing it, and people's faces were missing. <laughs> all they were was like muscular and mouth with eyeballs. <laughs> you should have never said anything. That would have made that game better. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's, you know... Th- but they shipped it, knowing that those were an issue. Saying, we'll fix it in the first patch. We'll fix it in an update. We'll fix it later. And... Well, you see, the thing is... They're is not, they don't have to there's some, finish there's a some, game. There's some developers and some... Uh, some games that come out where they say that, but it never actually ever happens. Oh. Right? Dude, and then the uh, games die, so and now you're stuck with a game that, that it's all bugged. I got a great example of that. So did you guys ever play Watch Dogs? I did. I liked it. I thought the concept was cool. It took kind of the GTA feel and added uh, a little bit of trickery to it. Basically, you, you run around with your mobile phone and you you know try to I thought it was more like play Pokemon Go. Of, uh, of the uh, Punisher game where the main character was Micro. There you go. That's actually pretty fair, yeah. <laughs> um, it's a ridiculously fun game to play. You just described what a whole bunch of like middle-aged men are doing right now with Pokemon Go. Running around yeah, town with much. their mobile phone. <laughs> so, but in, in any case, though, like, initially the game was supposed to have, like, you know, I mean, like, next-level support. Like, it was supposed to be this grand <laughs> showcase of amazing... Um, uh, game design and like new levels and player created situations a lot like um, oh god I cannot think of the name of that stupid game now uh, basically the game where like you picked up like the lightning powers and you could absorb electricity and whatever I can't remember what the heck the name um, I almost had it prototype? Again. no that wasn't prototype um, regardless Far Cry? No. Um, anyways, I so I'm maybe, 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 regardless, that. regardless. Um, <laughs> so, regardless, what had happened is uh, the game didn't sell as well as they thought they as they thought it would, and so the people that bought like season passes and stuff got one DLC and then like nothing else. Like <laughs> they got literally nothing. Well, there, there's just, a problem. Uh, it was awful. That, games and that the are support for it, like there was glitches all over the place, and then they weren't fixing nothing. Like, it was just bad. The games that are safe to buy DLCs for are Borderlands Fallout. and Fallout. <laughs> Sweet God, Borderlands DLC. Like, it is the best. I got the Tiny season pass for, fall, for Fallout 4. I got the season pass. The money I've ever I got the I got the season pass for. I wish I would have. Like in, in in hindsight, I should have done that. But uh what I should have done was get the uh the DLC or the the season pass for Fallout 4, but I got uh when I got Borderlands, that's the very first thing I did. When I got Borderlands the pre-sequel, I was like, "Yep, buy the season pass. It's mine." <laughs> And uh, it was worth it. The Borderlands 2 I bought, and I got all the DLC for it, and it had Tiny oh, Tina's Assault on Dungeon Keep. Oh, that, that, that is my, <laughs> the, the, my, by in, far the best DLC it, I've it, ever played on any game ever. Oh, I agree, 100%. <laughs> that that <laughs> is, uh, like, agree. when, when uh, people were like, DLCs are stupid, I was like, you, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you have not seen this one. You have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, they, they can be they can be utter crap, or they can be the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> a Dungeons and Dragons game in a first person shooter, so awesome! <laughs> <laughs> it was so great, dude. <laughs> All right, so we're going to kind of twist this around. We talked about video okay. games. We talked about this stuff. We're going to go back to the core of what a lot of us do. We're going to talk pen and paper games. All right, so pen and paper games. Krista, uh, Krista has uh, more experience with LARP 
uh, than pen and paper. She's not a big pen and paper fan. I don't have that much experience with LARP. <laughs> you had almost two years of LARP. You ran one. Yeah, I have experience with one LARP. <laughs> yeah, oh, one. Like, you did all the, like, the coordination uh, stuff. I'm for the administrivia person. I did everything but write. <laughs> Give me that goddamn mic. <laughs> she, she's like, I'm the administrator. I, I no, I did way more than administrate. Do you, do you, yeah. <laughs> we 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 uh, we are We're trying not, not to get too yep, into that. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right, so we talked about it in the last time we were here. Unfortunately, that audio (laughs) was not able to be used. (laughs) It's because I wasn't here. (laughs) Before we get to, uh, before we we uh, we hop off here, which is we're getting ready to. um, Call of Cthulhu, uh, the Cthulhu Octong, which which is my favorite call. My favorite role playing RPG is Call of Cthulhu. The this new module stuff that that Modifius has is sets Call of Cthulhu and Savage Worlds in China uh, World War Two. So you're actually playing with World War Two battles raging all around you. There's so many different well, modules and that, stuff that's, that are set up. That's the way you show right, and there's because it takes gas. You know, gaslight. You have 1920s, and then you jump to 1990s and then the modern day stuff. So the problem with that is now, you know, people were having to fill in and, and do all this other stuff to, to get a thing. Well, we have a World War II setting, and it's fantastic That's with the amount of stuff that they, they, they throw in from history and your fight. You know, Our buddy Tom is, loves is, playing Call of Cthulhu games, yeah. and he's, he's all about trying to. Tom's awesome. I love Tom. I, 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 I'm. I got some updates for him. He's feeling a little bit better, so I'm, I'm hoping Yay. he's going to be okay and everything's going to be all right. And it's just but, the, the, the amount of medical things wrong with him right now is staggering. Right. So, so well, I mean, prayers for him. Prayers, yeah, definitely. Goodwill God wishes, energy. Fuck. whatever you, don't you do, in God, whatever, yeah, whatever it is that you do to to, to, to send the positivity, you do that. <laughs> he's accepting of all the so good what I'm, So what I'm going to say guy. is, as we're getting ready to wipe, wrap up, because we're we're wipe well, up, wipe ready up, to wipe up. Yeah, well, well, we, well, we have we a few shit for the last. <laughs> we, we have a few shit for the last hour and a half. We probably do need to wipe up a little bit. <laughs> um, like we are a little bit over Maybe our time, have. so uh, oh. I will say this: I'm, I'm currently in talks with Modifius about getting review copies, so we can actually sit down and play and, and play That's a game. Great. But everything I've read, all the PDF copies that I've read that that I bought from them. I haven't been able to run a campaign yet, but I'm getting ready to. It's fantastic, and it is definitely something that that I mean, it's generalized, so you can run it in Savage Worlds and in and in Call of Cthulhu. You know, e- either system, whichever yours is your favorite, is 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 a great. It's a great story. So. All right, so we got. I think we got time for what one one movie review. Okay. And Crystal really wants to talk about it. I'm going to let her just go off. All can right. I, Three, two, I, one, go. Can I segue into something else with it? Because it's all about animals. Yes, go. Hurry up. Okay, so <laughs> The Secret Life of Pets. Yeah, five pets. seconds. Go. It doesn't matter if you are, you know, five. All right, that's all the time we 50, have today, folks. <laughs> um, or 90 or whatever or 200. It is an adorable movie, and I'm pretty sure my dog is featured in it <laughs> because Gidget and my dog have a lot in common. <laughs> I haven't seen the movie yet. I so, see it, it, so yeah, I'm gonna make him go see it because I want to see it again. <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, I'm gonna make him go see it. But um, it is—it's a really—it's adorable movie. And uh, my best friend and I went to go see it over the weekend, and the theater was full of children. And I was—I've ne- never been more amazed at how well-behaved children could be in a theater. We well, even some to focus <laughs> I didn't on. even well, I didn't even know there was an infant in the audience until the lights came up at the end of the movie. <laughs> uh, that's even the infant was behaving. And the infant had no idea what was going on. <laughs> All right. So. so but it's a great it's a great movie, so definitely go see it, especially, you know, if you have kids and if you don't, go see it later if you don't want to have pets, kids in the go theater. See it. Yeah, I really think they should do pet showings <laughs> so that you can take your pets to go see it. Um, but speaking of pets, everyone should accept pets, including restaurants. I, yes, I do. Right? <laughs> you should, um, pets should be allowed to be chefs. I mean, it worked in Ratatouille. Why can't it work? Exactly, because <laughs> right, that was totally real. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, anyway, um, just to kind of jump in there, um, we can post some more information on the Facebook page. But um, we are still—I'm still raising money for my rescue team, Second Chances Rescue Team, to help with rescuing animals of all types um, that are in need to rescue from places that they just shouldn't be because they're not being taken care of, um, rescued because maybe their owners are honest and, hey, I can't take care of this insert t- animal type here. 
um, where we're going to be fostering, rehabilitating if they're getting out of bad situations like where they're getting abused, um, and helping them find a second chance and a second family, a forever family. Um, so we'll go ahead and post the, the information on that and on how to donate to the GoFundMe. Um, and because we are definitely working to get that started. Chris has already helped me. We've rescued a bunny Baby so bunny. far. <laughs> <That's adorable. laughs> so. And we'll talk. I have, to, I have some information for you if you would. Uh, we'll talk after this. But this has been Geek Public Radio from geekpublicradio.com. I am Topher. I am Crazy Chris. And I am Jessel. And uh, if you guys so. want to get a hold of us at any point in time, you just go on to geekpublicradio.com, drop us a line, or send us an email directly at geekpublicradio at gmail.com. And uh, ask us any questions you want. If it's a really good subject, we might include it in one of the shows. So uh, also let us know what your top t- uh, your top three video games of all time are, um, what kind of video games you really like to play, some of your retro gaming ideas. And if you've got any information about some pets that need rescued, again, drop us out there at geekpublicradio uh, at gmail.com. Krista, do, is there a website they can go to to check out the uh, Second Chances? Not yet. Not yet. All right. So it's still yet. in progress. There will be. Uh, there's a lot of things in progress, but a lot of uh, <laughs> there's some funds that are necessary right, to get we'll, a lot we'll, of things we'll going. We'll get that. We'll get the web page created, and maybe we'll, we'll link it over to Geek Public Radio too. So. And right. Big, right. big, big thank you to Hoosier Girls. Yeah, big thank for you for letting us take, take over their VIP Monday section. Friday, or, They've know, actually Monday been holding Saturday. off playing music up until this point. Up until this point, yeah. Just Monday, so we can Monday so through Saturday, 8 p.m. till 3 a.m. Come in here. Uh, get some boobs in your face, get you some cold beer, and have yourself a great time. Tell them that Geek Public Radio sent you. Tell them Geek Public Radio sent you. Maybe they'll give you a discount. Don't bank on it, though. <laughs> Manager's <laughs> awesome. Stephanie, doorman, and came over featured uh, with Sean Z. Uh, Kenny, the DJ over here, you guys would love it. Guys, come on and check it out. Girls, guys, welcome. Everybody's welcome. Transit, doesn't matter what you are. Come see it. Everybody loves boobs. <laughs> Boobies. That's true. <laughs> We're outie. Yeah, that's it. Bye. Bye. Love you guys. <laughs>